as Hong Jiquan is building his new theological and political perspective, he identifies first the rot at the heart of the empire, which is people suffer. Those are the people he lived around were people who lived on a knife's edge of precarity and were cruelly exploited by tax collectors and landlords. They saw no justice in the world. Uh, and it was all understood that that was the case. And this is, of course, during a cycle of eco ecological catastrophe. You have a run of uh, droughts leading to famines all through the uh, mid-19th mid century, which is going to contribute to all how all of this plays out. It's going to intensify every conflict, and it's going to make every conversion pitch that the uh, Taiping rebels have that much more persuasive when people encounter it. So in a world of suffering where they're ruled over by those who claim to support all of these Confucian principles, but in practice only so discord and, and violence and horror, uh, what can be the case here? He identifies the Manchu as essentially the uh, archons, the demiurgical archons tasked with keeping uh, the Han people from their knowledge of God. And the demons that he spoke of killing in 37, he now understood to be the Manchu. And he understood that there was no cohabitation between Christianity as he understood it, his need to propagate it, and the maintenance of uh, foreign Manchu Qi overrulership at the hand of Confucian mandarins. He even goes to a blacksmith with his cousin and gets two giant three foot long swords with the word demon slaying sword written on them. Eventually they lose them, but uh, it really does show their commitment to the bit there. So Hong starts proselytizing. He starts talking about all these ideas he's having and people are very much into it because he leads with the need to create social justice. He leads with, we need to live as Christ wanted us to in harmony. And that means no more landlords. That means no more domination. It means living in common with common ownership. This is a utopian uh, ideology that has fired religious revo uh, revolts against the empire going back generations. The tradition of secret societies within uh, Chinese, the greater Chinese society coming together around religious concepts largely Taoist, that point to an apocalyptic overthrow of worldly evil and the creating of uh, a equal shared earth, which is the communist dream that has, has always fired uh, the human heart. When confronted with life at the uh, end of the blade of class rule, as people, as these people all did. 